Well, with wa rocketry, what is it that, um, beyond just the standard, you know, liquid oxygen, liquid hydrogen, what uh, is it about rocketry that you're wanting to focus on and to be able to innovate? Uh, I think um, there is relatively new uh, capabilities within 3D printing. Uh, I think it's now possible to actually print uh, the smallest uh, regeneratively cooled rocket engine that's ever been built. Uh, I think there are there are things about the 3D printing process that make it possible to do things that were never possible before. Like um, there are, you know, the, the history up to now, it has been possible to do a lot of really interesting things. But you know, these aren't just ways of doing the same things differently. These are ways of doing entirely new things. So I, I, I have come up with a few ideas that I think that could be applied uh, and actually make it possible to do things that have never been done before using the 3D printing. Um, I actually came up with an entire new additive manufacturing process that uh, as far as I know has never been done before and I actually did a prototype of that. So that was, uh, it was nice to see that that actually worked out and so that could also be applied to, to rocket propulsion or other industries. Um, and then, so there's the new manufacturing processes and then there's just you know, being able to build on all of the knowledge that's been, that, you know, it continuously comes out. Um, you know, it, it is a long series of standing on the shoulders of everything that's come out before, so. With that being said then, um, do you eventually want to start doing the different projects that you're wanting to do? And I'm sure that you have lots of different projects in the works that, you know, of course you don't want to talk about and reveal what, what you have going on, but do you eventually want to be able to build on and start having the same systems that you originally work with, starting off with a small suborbital launcher and build that to a multi-stage and eventually larger and yeah, I mean, that, it would definitely be ideal to be able to go from, you know, suborbital to do a nanosat launcher. Um, I'm a bit worried, uh, well, it's a good worry that, uh, you know, we did, at, at Maston, we did the first in-air engine relight on a vertical takeoff, vertical landing rocket, and then Elon Musk actually sent uh, the link to that video around SpaceX. We got, you know, forwarded the, the message after he had sent it to everyone at SpaceX, which it was a few years ago when SpaceX was smaller, but uh, um, now they're, you know, seriously working on reusability. So I think it's actually possible that they will have reusability working before I would get a launcher working, and uh, at that point, it, it, it probably is more affordable to just put something on their existing reusable rocket that can you know go do its own thing that it is to do a dedicated small launch so so I'm, I'm somewhat hesitant to really jump back into that uh, quite yet but it would be definitely nice to be able to take you know I mean useful to take you know what what we come up with and apply it to you know a bigger problem was it what is it about rocketry aside from space exploration and human space flight that generates so much interest within you uh, I mean, I, uh, th that was one of the things they discussed today about uh, uh, someone asked what the difference is between, you know, the, the previous generations and the, the millennial, like the, the people my, roughly my age. And one of them is that Apollo isn't like a big thing for us. It is for us, you know, history. No one has walked on the moon in, in my lifetime. So it, it wasn't, it's not something that has motivated. For me, things like DCX were much more interesting where things that seemed like completely impossible to do with a rocket where it took off and hovered and landed, you know, it was a rocket that actually came back down. That was, that was my, you know, childhood, like this is the coolest rocket I've ever seen kind of thing. Um, I think rocketry generally is appealing to you know some people just because it's it's all about like very very high energy density. There's you know amazing things happen in surprisingly small packages. Um, exactly why I don't I don't know that's a, that's a challenging question as to why people really get into it. But uh, I mean there's always the fundamental desire to go. I mean everybody almost everyone in this industry wants to go to space like. Uh, it's very rare to talk to someone for them to be like, yeah, I like working in this industry, but I have no interest in actually going to space. So, so I think, uh, you know, there's probably quite a few people who are, who started into the industry because they thought it would be, that they would be able to build their own way, you know, into space, um, which uh, I know that's definitely a stretch. And I know there's a lot of people who have, who have worked in this industry before me who, you know, worked their entire lives and then never got to go. But uh, I guess, the, you know, uh, any startup industry, you know, it's 50% uh, perspiration, 2% percent inspiration, and 48% self-delusion. So, uh, you know, it, it's important to not entirely understand what you're getting yourself into. Well, uh, what, 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 what can you tell us about um, what your plans may be for the future then? Um, what, what unique capability can you add to spaceflight and space exploration in general that 
makes you unique and makes sets you apart from all the others. Yeah. Well, um, I think uh, uh, I'm very much interested in the whole reusability aspect of being able to cycle things quickly. Um, that it, you know isn't particularly unique, but uh, uh, I am unique in the experience that I've had there. I, I've worked on more different um, rocket vehicles than almost anyone else in the world, uh, which has been an amazing experience working at both Maston and Armadillo. So I've had definitely a, a unique um, education in you know reusable rocketry, which I hope to be able to apply. Um, beyond that, uh, self-delusion, I think, yeah, is, is also important. Uh, but, uh, yeah, that's a good question. <laughs>